This is the same setup as I had in the last video, except I've got this toroidal transformer here. It's an Antec transformer. It's an AN0215. You can look that up on eBay. It has uh, two secondaries, 15 volts at 800 milliamps each. There's two of them, as I said. I have each one terminated here. So this should give me 15 volts at a maximum of continuous current of uh, 1.6 amps. Same in and out. Uh, same oscilloscope connection. I think we'll have a VCC here, a little bit less than 20 volts. And so I powered this up with the DC power supply, which had been set for 15 volts. I upped it to 20 volts DC and adjusted the current to 1 amp. So first of all, let's plug it in and, and measure uh, VCC and VREG. Now, you'll notice that these are, in, on my drawings, are colored. VCC is red and VREG is uh, magenta, I think. And I have indicated in red where you can read VCC and where you could read VREG which is here. Saves trying to stick a lead in under these three terminal devices. You can see we have our blue LED I'm on uh, DC volts. And I've got 17.3 volts at VCC. 15 volts at uh, VREG. And the crossover voltage is 7.1. It really should be 7.5. I'll increase it a little tiny bit. That's pretty close to 7.5. So here we are looking at a thousand hertz square wave. Everything looks fine. Let me see if I can stay out of the way of this oscilloscope. I'll turn the amplitude down. And you see they both decrease linearly. But watch when I get about here. The output stops increasing. So I would say Across an 8 ohm load, 10.4 volts is about the maximum output, and 300 millivolts peak to peak is about the maximum input. This was a 15 volts AC input, so 50 hertz looks just the same as before. And 50 kilohertz looks pretty much the same as it did before. It's fairly hot. Transistor bodies are at 36 degrees C. Actually, 30, yeah. 
down here. At this one we're looking at 35 degrees C. This rectifier, this rectifier is at 33 degrees C. Back here. 36 C. So this is not bad at all. Here we have a nice hood amplifier with a power supply. So it needs things up considerably. Just add a transformer and a speaker. If this transformer were rated 50 VA, I could deliver a little more than, well, considerably more than an amp. And I would have two coils, each at 15 volts. So if I had a 50 VA transformer, I could supply both amplifiers. A left and a right. And all you have to do is add a speaker. So I'm going to wind this up. This is amplifier number five. Drawings are listed below in the link. Thank you for watching.